in here. Right. We did a live um, comedy show and I mic'd it and mic'd the entire crowd and shit and recorded because we're going to do a comedy mixtape, like kind of oh. like a bigger and blacker type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audio. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Bro, this motherfucker's opening that. He's like, I am in no way, shape, or form a homosexual. Getting ready, getting the ready. Right amount of money, I will f- Wendy Williams. <laughs> 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 like, and Jolly point, crazy. It was a rap. Powered by Old Rap Studios. Already gearing up here, gearing up, gearing up. Huh? Yeah, I just I like to do that because the live is like show people some of the process. Nah, we t- I'm just you know we getting ready. No, but remember we opening up with just us two anyhow. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. I'm gonna start it when I get the um. Dedicated to the President of the United States of America. Yeah, y'all might know him as Charles Bush, but where I'm from, Lost City of New Orleans, we call him me. Georgia. That's right. Georgia. Bush. <laughs> Georgia. You know who you are. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> Let's go. Georgia. Bush. Georgia. Bush. Georgia. Ever we Powered by you. Old Rap Studios. Yes, what brings me? What brings me? This song dedicated to the one with the suit. Thick white skin and his eyes bright blue. So called beef with you know who. Fuck it, he just let him kill all our troops. Look at all the bullshit we've been through. Had a nigga sitting on top of their roofs. Hurricane Katrina, we should have called it Hurricane. Georgia. Bush. Then they telling y'all lies on the news The white people smiling like everything cool But I know people that died in that pool I know people that died in them schools Now what is the survivor to do? Got no trailer, you gotta move Now it's on to Texas, into They tell you what they want Show you what they want you to see But they don't let you know what's really going on Make it look like a lot of stealing going on All them cops, killers in my home Nigga shot dead in the middle of the street I ain't no deep, I'm just trying to eat Man, fuck the police and president Bush so what happened to the levies? Why wasn't they steady? Why wasn't they able to control this? I know some folk that live by the levy that keep on telling me they heard explosions. Same shit happened back in Hurricane Vince in 1965. I ain't too young to know this. That was President Johnson, but not his. Georgia. Bush. We from a town where Georgia. everybody drowned in. Everybody died, but baby, Georgia. I'm still praying with you. Everybody cried, but Georgia. ain't nobody tried. There's no doubt on my mind it was Georgia. Bush, we from a town where everybody drowned in, everybody died, but baby, I'm still praying with you, everybody crying, but ain't nobody trying, there's no doubt on my mind, it was Bush. I was born in a boot at the bottom of the map, New Orleans, baby, not a White House, Satan trying to wash us away like we not on a map, Ugh. wait, have you heard the latest, they saying that you gotta have paper if you're trying to come back, niggas thinking it's a rap, see, we can't hustle and they trap, we ain't from it's them dead bodies, them lost houses The mayor say don't worry about it And the children have been scorned No one's here to care about them And best shout to all the rappers that helped out Yeah, we like to thank all of y'all but president. You are back on the bench with Bubba and Pink What's going on, Pink? Not much, man, you didn't give me the countdown with your hand Usually I need that <laughs> No countdown today, my man. No countdown today. <laughs> Getting right to it. I had we have so many mics set up today because we have two guests coming on uh, later on in the show. Not too much later, man. Nah. <laughs> Jolly and D Rug, uh, uh, two outstanding comedians in Orlando area, and D Rug. He's a man of multiple talents. We'll get into that exactly. for sure when he gets on here. Uh, of course, we have uh, the 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 last part to the failed train story today. Yes. Uh, are you excited about that? I'm super excited. <laughs> this is the last one. There's a bit of sadness, too. Yeah, man. It's the last failed train story. <laughs> um, a, a, a lot of a lot of uh, people have been anticipating this, man. I know. Um, they, I know. They, they, they text me and call me, but I try to tell them all the time to get on YouTube, Spotify, okay, and comment, like, and su- subscribe. 
Absolutely. You know what I mean? So we can keep this thing going. Absolutely. Get, follow <laughs> us, comment. We'll interact with you for sure. That's right. That's I, you right. know, I, I was, you know, I was, I was kind of hoping you'd rethink it and maybe try to get on a train again. <laughs> no more trains, man. <laughs> Just for the story. No more trains. All right. No more choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> all right well should we just jump right into let's, it or what's let's, going let's, on let's man let's jump right back into it much man. anticipated <laughs> once again Powered we are old rap studios over here at old rap studios now listen the first train story i told this is a part four series the first train story i told of course i was at um a friend of mine's house coming back from school okay we were right down maybe a house down from where he stays and um and he called the girl over of course she requested the train and uh <laughs> one by one we got in and out of his car um and unfortunately i was unable to get what i wanted out of that train so it didn't happen <laughs> all right <laughs> the train conductor he uh went first and he stayed in for about an hour hour and a half non-stop straight action straight boom boom action there was no uh kissing or talking involved i don't know how he did it he's a superhero all right is kissing and talking a part of the train or no it shouldn't be yeah no no but I but I, I, I have i have seen that before i also think though that with your history of failing the trains that uh Nobody's looking to invite you back anyway. <laughs> like, that's one of those deals where you didn't even have to announce your retirement. It was kind of self-imposed. <laughs> exactly. Nobody's man. looking for Bubba to join the train. <laughs> the second uh, failed train story uh, happened on the east side of town. Okay. Um, I was all geared up, ready to go. And uh turns out when it got, got to be my turn, there was about a 275-pound white lady in the bed smoking a cigarette Wait with a one minute. leg cocked up on the wall. She lost 10 pounds over the week? <laughs> what did I say, 285? Yeah. 275, 285. What's your 250 plus, man? It all blends in. <laughs> nah, together. nah, 285 is a good number. Like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thought she got on keto during the week. <laughs> <laughs> the third failed train story, I took out the series, okay, because I was underaged. Uh, over on Simon Avenue, uh, anybody from Winter Park listening, they know that was a crazy, crazy street in our childhood. A lot of things went down um, on Simon Avenue. So I took that train story out just in case we have anybody that's against, uh, what's that? Pedophilia. Pedophilia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If anybody's uncomfortable with that, we, <laughs> we don't want you to be uncomfortable with our show. Exactly, man. It was all for the people. We stand with the people. Now, the number one failed train story uh, that I have is uh, stems from... Uh, Bethune Cookman uh, at Bethune Cookman University. If you notice, the other two were me coming back home from Bethune. I was gonna say, there's a real special time you coming back from school. <laughs> and I'm wearing my Bethune Cookman shirt today, just to uh, you know enlighten the story, get the story a little more light, a little more juice. All right. So here, here we go. Um, it is sophomore year. We have our own apartment, so there is no, um, you know, there's no huge need or, or or you know to go out and just get coochie all day every day it's kind of coming to us now because we have our own place you guys we're are so well established we're established we're sophomores we're no longer freshmen everything is all good man so so explain this though like you, you and the guys are sitting around watching some football or something and just some random girl goes hey can i get some dick here no oh, okay actually so i had two other roommates all right we over in marina vista now what happens is I'm with my uh, my other roommate. We're just chilling in the in the in an apartment, and our other roommate comes flying in the door and like, I don't know what you guys are doing, but in that shit we got somewhere to go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we got somewhere to go, man. So and so she wants us over there. She wants us over there right now. She told me to bring the, you know some guys over, and it's about to go down. All right, <laughs> now. I already have a girl coming over that night, so I'm I'm all right. I don't really need this. I've had two failed trains already. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm good. I'm I'm all right, man. You know. So what happens is, I go along for the ride. All right, I go along for the ride. He was so convincing. You know, at that point, you're in. Like, <laughs> I'm in. You don't get in the car for the ride if you're not in. Exactly. I'm in. All right, ten toes in. You know, shout out to Doughboy on the movie where he actually get out halfway through uh, on the ride. <laughs> <laughs> and boys in the hood, I was not dope. I didn't. I didn't get out. I didn't get out. I, we drove all the way to the apartment. Okay, 
um, which was <laughs> just one apartment down. All right. So Wait a we, minute, y'all had to get in the car for that? <laughs> I mean, you know, like the next, <laughs> who's gonna walk? You don't want your balls sweaty <laughs> during the train. You don't want your balls sweaty during the train, man. You also didn't have time to rethink and travel in a block. And get <laughs> Ex- out. Exactly, man. It was it was at close quarters. <laughs> so, all right. So we get over there. All right. It's four of us. All right. Okay. There's four of us. We get to the apartment. The train conductor gets out, of course, goes to the door, makes sure everything's still okay. You know, we're still on, blah, blah, blah. The rest of y'all remain in the car? The rest of us remains in the car. Okay. So we can see him. It's like we're we're part. It's an apartment complex, but we're part. We can see him walk up the stairs. So then he gives us the thumbs up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives us the green light. <laughs> we're good. Okay. Now there's a lot. There's a lot of layers to the story, so I'm, 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 you know, I'm trying to fast forward through some of the meaningless parts. Hey, don't right? don't rush yourself. <laughs> so, so, we don't want you to pop off too layers. early here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I've done that a couple times in my lifetime. So listen, he gives us the the go ahead to come up. Now, this is important to say because. I at this time I I have some juice, you know. I I I look pretty good. I'm in shape. So we get up, we get up stairs, right? All four of us. And for what are for whatever odd reason she tells me no. <laughs> what the <hell>? <laughs> like the guys are we're walking in the apartment door and she kind of like stops me, like, you know, <laughs> Wait, so you didn't break the threshold of the door? I didn't even break the threshold of the door. She, she's like, no, you know. Were you and last though walking in? I was. So to this day, I don't know if it's <laughs> she had a limit on how many she could take that night, or if yeah. if something was wrong with me physically. You know, I don't, to this day, I don't, I don't know. I don't know to this day, okay? Now, did you recognize this girl from on campus or, or around? No. Not at all. Total strangers. To me. Now, the thing is, uh, people that know me and my family and my friends, they know my memory is, I, I will forget, I, 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 you know, I will forget my auntie if I don't see her. No well, I'm happy no. you remembered me. <laughs> That's good. But I don't think that was an issue. I okay. don't. But I don't know if she didn't like the way I looked. Or if she was at her limit of penises, she could take that night, okay? And three. <laughs> so, okay, I go, and I it could was... I could walk back to the apartment, for, but for whatever reason, I stay in the car. I get back in the car, and I stay in the car. <laughs> and wait, because I want to hear what happened. I want to hear you, it firsthand. Did, did you have the key? Could you turn on the air? Or no, you... no. <laughs> <laughs> so I chill, I wait. You wanted to stay handy in case somebody failed? <laughs> I chill, I wait till they come out, okay? <laughs> of course, the, the stories are like, fuck, like you know, Bigfoot. Oh, man, you should have seen it. <laughs> she was flying off the get ceiling fan, and oh, man, you, know, you should have just came in anyway, man. <laughs> you know, what was she going to say? And this, this, and that. You know, so I'm hearing all of this and all of that, how I missed out. They had the time of their fucking life, okay? <laughs> all right. That's the first half. Now, well, time out. Let's go back and see. Okay. I- at Bethune Cookie, I'm assuming she wasn't a 285 pound white woman with a cigarette. No, man. So was she, was she a looker? Yeah, she looked pretty good. She looked pretty good. She was about a a a, a six and a half to seven. Okay, she's about a seven. I'll give her and seven for, for train for train quality. That's, that's good yeah. for train quality. She's in th- shape on a ten scale. Like what what do you get? You know, for being in a train, does it upgrade you a point or maybe two points? I think it downgrades you. Downgrades you. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want anybody that's been with a train. First well, of we're all, not, we're not saying you want to marry them. You just, you know, for purposes of the train. Uh, no, no, you don't get you don't get extra points. If anything, okay. you get ding. Okay? <laughs> you get ding. You get ding <laughs> some points. You know, but um, you know, they had a, a, a awesome night that night, and that that was the night. Okay. How long were you in the car? <laughs> I didn't keep track, man. But it wasn't that long. I I'll tell you what, uh, the the first the other train conductor when I got back home, the hour and a half guy. Yeah, it was about the same time for all three of those guys. Okay, that's, all, why, <laughs> that's why I asked the question. I didn't, you know. I, yeah, yeah, all three of those guys didn't surpass the hour and a half. Guy, I was gonna I say if much. they all put in a shift there, you would have missed your date later <laughs> in the night. Exactly. Might have might have missed breakfast the next day. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so now we fast forward. Maybe about four or five days, all right, almost a week, and we're on campus. Now, 
at Bethune, we call the quad. That's where everybody hangs out, you know, in between classes or on the weekends, whatever the case may be. So this is like a Friday, um, and it's midday. You know, well, not midday, but after like most classes are done, most classes in the morning, so whatever. It's a lot of people outside. It's a beautiful day. Mid afternoonish. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's a lot of people outside. I, I, I'll say it's about maybe three to four hundred people. I might be underdoing that. I think it's more people out there. Okay. okay. So we're hanging out, of course, by the girls' dorm room. That's where we <laughs> hang out at. Okay. That's not a secret. Of course, that's where all the action is. And the, our choice of dorm is Joiner. We all know that Joiner, if you stayed in Joiner Hall, you you were uh, uh, you were having you were participating in sexual activities if you stayed in Joiner Hall. Okay. Did you need to like submit a full body pic to get picked to stay in Joiner? No, no, it's just the way it is. All body tops welcome, <laughs> as, as long as you're down and ready to fuck. If you're in Joiner Hall, you that's what you were doing. Okay, we all know that. Every guy knows that. So that's where most of the guys and people are hanging out at in front of Joiner Hall. Rightly okay. so. All right, so the girl that they ran a train on, all right, she's hanging out with her, like, her little group of friends, and they're maybe, you know, a few yards away, all right? And they, are you with the, the other train I'm with my guys, yeah, I'm with the train conductor and, 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 and my friends, uh, my roommates that um, that, that completed the, the train ride, okay? <laughs> and did you recognize her immediately, or were you kind of like somebody no. else brought it to your attention? No, exactly. So my roommate tapped me on his on his shoulder and he's like, "Yo, that's that's her over there," and <laughs> I'm just I'm an odd person. You can't do that to me, okay? You can't <laughs> tap me on the shoulder and say, "Hey, that goes Mike Tyson." I, you know, I'm looking at what you know. You can't do that to me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why? Because you overreact and fight? yes, yes. So oh, I, I look, you. I look. And I'm like, what, right there? <laughs> no point, man. <laughs> Wait, is that the girl with the train right there? <laughs> so she sees, she sees me, do, you know, she sees me, like, point at her. And she's, I, you know, in her mind and her to her defense, maybe she's thinking, like, you know, I'm laughing at her, making fun of her that she got a train ran on her. But I really wasn't. I was just trying to identify who she was. Or maybe she just thought you had beef for being turned down. That, too. See, yeah, that goes another, yeah, part to the story. Maybe that, maybe that. Was so, there like a, a lot of soul searching done over those next couple days? Like, why me? <laughs> exactly, man. I really wanted to know. I really wanted to know. <laughs> to this day, I haven't found out. Did you actually hook up with the other girl that night, or did you take an offer? No, no, no. I hooked up. Oh, I'm, okay. Like I say, yeah, that's sophomore year is is, is is good. Okay. All right. So, um, a year of living Wilt Will Chamberlain's life. <laughs> no, not even. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so she sees me do that, right? Yeah. So all of a sudden, what happens is <laughs> the craziest shit happens. The the uh, security guard is maybe a foot away from her. So she grabs the security guard, and she says, him right there, that's the guy who raped me. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, this is taking a dark turn. <laughs> it's taking a dark turn. <laughs> That's what she says. You heard her say you were that close? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it was just a few <laughs> yards away. And she says that him right there, she pointed at me. I'm looking, I'm like, I'm I'm looking, I'm like, okay. Was, Did you try to duck? Is anybody behind me <laughs> or, or or whatnot? But I'm like, I'm sort of like, you know, I, I, you know, I'm by my friends, but I'm isolated by standing on a pole. And she's pointing right at me, him right there. That's the guy who raped me. <laughs> and then when she says that, it's like you can hear a pin drop. Like, and like I say, it's four, three, four hundred people outside, maybe more. She probably is more. And so here, here's my time. I, you know, right away, no hesitation. To the top of my lungs, I can't couldn't, can't scream any louder. I said, <laughs> "You're just mad because my dogs ran a train on you." <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> to the loudest that I could possibly say, I screamed it to the top of my lungs. <laughs> and from there, everybody just started laughing, and <laughs> it was like 
<laughs> and for a few minutes, I became like the king of the fucking day. I was like, I was a martyr. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, shit. Falsely accused of rape. <laughs> Calls her out with her hypocrisy of taking a train. Right away, I got my self-esteem God, back, man. Touche. I got everything back right away. You That's know almost I mean? like a reversal in a WWE match. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. The guy slams you, and then you put him in a headlock and put him to sleep. Exactly. You came for the wrong one, bitch. <laughs> Don't fuck with my wit. Exactly, because you didn't even let me in the fucking house. <laughs> like, what is, what, is, what, is, what is wrong with you? I know. So once I do that, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm the king. <laughs> and so me and my homeboys, my homeboy, the train conductor, he's conflicted because he's, he's like... I know you had to do that, but come on, man. Now we can't do anything with her ever again. <laughs> He's conflicted, you know? <clears throat> so what happens is we, we start walking away towards the uh, calf. So did the security guard just freezed up at this moment? He didn't yeah, 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 yeah. The current guards at Cookman, I mean, they're... <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking for any smoke. No, not at all, man. <laughs> no, they are looking for smoke. They're just oh. looking to smoke weed and chill out. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's it. They're having sex with half the girls on campus anyway. They don't like. They're just, yeah, they're just there, man, with the shirts on. Jeez. So we we walk away, and I, to your to your point, I guess she sees that the scooter car is not gonna do anything, say anything or anything. So she runs up, and my the train conductor has dreads. So she runs up, grabs <laughs> grabs the train conductor's dreads. Yank him down all the way to the to the, yank, yank him down to the ground. And this is a muscular guy. You know, he played football, running back, linebacker. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> and and she's not some big, sturdy broad? No, man. No. <laughs> she yanks him down. And then all three of her friends, they come up, and they it's just no hesitation. They're just pu- they're throwing punches. They're pushing. They're trying to grab and slam. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> these motherfuckers are in the, uh, the women WWE. <laughs> I mean, they mean business. They have a back, you know, everything, man. They're spitting, eye gouging, all that shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> no holds, no holds barred. No holds barred. It puts us in a in a in a strange situation. I know. But one of my roommates, you know, he doesn't give a damn, and he just <laughs> he knocks the shit out of one of them. Really? Man. Yeah, really, man. He knocks. The, he's the only one to really, you know. Throw a punch and he landed one. There you go. Now once that ha- once that happens, you know they kind of like back <laughs> back off. You know what I mean? They back off a little bit. Wait a minute, they're gonna fight back. <laughs> exactly. Man. This isn't what we planned for. <laughs> Not at all, man. We thought this was one way traffic. <laughs> now listen, the, the, the quad is still. Wait, wait has this gotten the security guard activated? <laughs> he's still sitting there smoking weed. He's he's still like there watching and like he's like, oh shit, like what do I do? You know, he's calling, you know, for backup for help or whatever. This wasn't in the manual. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, man, it was like crazy as shit because, like I say, all the people are out there still. Yeah. Everybody's like, you know, like, and (laughs) I don't know. Nobody like filmed it on the phone. I don't know if we kind of was predated that era or whatnot. Might have been a little, a little early for, a little early for, and thankfully a little early for the Me Too movement. Exactly, man. (laughs) We would have went viral on YouTube and probably spent the rest of our lives in jail. I don't know. This was good times for to do this. (laughs) (laughs) You picked the right era. Exactly, man. Exactly. (laughs) So after that, so, I mean, like, all right, so they stop attacking. Are they just still throwing verbal assaults at you and accusations? Yeah, the the, the, the girl, she's, like, crying hysterically now. Really? Yeah, she's crying hysterically. She's like, oh, my God, why did you say that? And, and, and da 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 And, like. What, what, you don't like the truth? <laughs> you got a problem with the truth? What are we supposed to do here? Exactly, man. Which lie would you like me to tell? You left me no choice, left me no room. I had to clear my name. You know what I mean? You sullied my good name, wench. <laughs> exactly, man. I have two years left here to get some coochie. If I'm a rapist, I don't get that's it. I just mean, you know what I mean? Forget about the threat of jail. <laughs> I, it'll just cut off my supply of pooches. You know what I mean? Oh, man, I hear it. You mess with my supply. <laughs> Supply and demand. <laughs> so uh, yeah, man. So after that, you know, like I said, they um, 
they they put us in this room and the administrators and they're just talking to us and so all wait, I hear you, is blah blah. Were blah, you blah, taken blah, from blah. the quad to the room? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by we, the security they... guards and uh, so backup arrived. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were the girls taken in as well yeah, yeah good good they were, they that's were. what i call them justice <laughs> but no one was reprimanded or any, nothing happened you yeah. know like nothing happened uh, as a result of it but you know I, I didn't see her back to school after that semester left in shame yeah man rightly so yeah what so <laughs> what what the hell are the administrators asking you <laughs> like i said man we're <laughs> in there point. and my blood is already boiling like I, I you know all i hear is blah 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 <laughs> blah blah. <laughs> you know what i mean so i that that's it you know and that's 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 the end of that story man oh man oh that's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> i always wonder though i mean like because, uh, you know, a lot of those girls, they do, you know, leave college and they do get married, you know? Yeah. And you just never know if you have the girl who got trained. <laughs> you never you know, don't man. know. You'll never know. It's just you'll never know. Man. They won't be forthcoming about that. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, the whole thing's very bizarre. Plus, it, it also speaks to that, like, that weird, crazy component with some people where it's like, you know, you got the train ran on you, and now you're going to have the gall and audacity to call somebody out for rape in a public setting. Yeah, man. Like, what's going on there? Uh, what What in the world was she thinking now? Yeah. Luckily, I'd already taken a few drinks. I mean, I don't know what I... <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't just not say anything. That would nah, have been you, terrible, you actually, man. You actually... That was a stroke of genius. Might have been your finest hour. I think that might have been. Man. Because again, like if you stayed quiet and and reacted some kind of way, maybe maybe even the security guard gets through his wee days and he's like, "This guy might be guilty. Let's look into this." <laughs> exactly. You know, I mean, who knows? But you 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 did flip it quickly. That that was like a fucking WWE heel turn. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that. I, I I am proud of myself for that moment, man. Know what you got to do? Reach out to to all the good folks from Bethune Cookman who are listening today. Does anybody know that girl? Can they try? her down <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be happy to have her on the show <laughs> discuss tell, quote unquote her side of tell, the story. tell her side of the story yeah right? yeah <laughs> i just want to know why you got turned down like was yeah. it a hard three dick limit or was there something else going on i bet you the train conductor knows and maybe he just never told me to you know save you the personal shame yeah i'm pretty sure he knows man. yeah i'm pretty sure he knows and then why would she, like, here's the crazy thing. I mean, she's not even a good accuser. She should have accused somebody that actually banged her. Right. Then there'd be a little DNA going. Exactly. That's crazy. <laughs> but like I said, man, I'm I'm pointing at her. To her defense, <laughs> I'm pointing at her. So, you, you know, I guess she has to, she feels like she has to react some kind of way. Yeah. You know. Jeez. I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, man. That, that was the uh, story of the week right there. Indeed. I think this is a uh, good time for a break here. Yes. All right. And then we'll be back. I know Jolly is here. We got to find out if Rug is here. Um, and then we'll <laughs> get this. <laughs> we'll get this party started, man. All, All right. right. You're on the bench with Bubba and Pink. This right here is Vibe Now uh, by Loose Cannon Takeoff. It is on all streaming platforms.
Powered by O-Rap Studios. Get up, boys! Down by the river, by the hang of the bank. Fish scale jumpers play the bite of the tank. Get it out the mill, bust it down by the plate. Send me your cash out, get it right to your state. When the bird on the box, you can bet that it's safe. Truck swerve on your block, drop it right to your place. When the jet turn green and the flip phone ring, you can open up the shop and tell them, get them a plate. No food don't cook in the kitchen. It's a bunch of dope boy, what a whipping. Get the dope don't lock and jumping out the pot. Then call the plug back to come and get it. I got girl, I got him, I got shit really jumping out the gym, man. High still swing a nigga door. I can still get him in by the bowl. And you know I'm tied in, I make him slide in. And had them young niggas at your throat. No food don't cook in the kitchen. It's a bunch of dope boy, what a whipping. If the dope don't lock, and jumping out the pot. Then call the plug back and come and get it. On the bench with Bubba in Pink. We are on Spotify, on YouTube, on Apple Podcast, uh, Google Podcast. Please follow, comment, like. We're uh, we're happy to interact with you. <clears throat> We've got Jolly in the house here. Jolly, you're a uh, member of a comedy group, the Winners. The Winners, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's us. That's uh, we do our thing. You know what I mean? We pretty much made Orlando comedy cool, and I'm gonna say that with as much disrespect as y'all want to take it. <laughs> <laughs> What you know? One thing you didn't do is uh, treat us very well. You took an enormous shit right there. <laughs> oh, you gonna talk about that? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that that's because I've been eating tofu. <laughs> that tofu will mess you up, man. Don't eat that tofu; it ain't right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, our producer came in right as the break started and said he couldn't breathe. Hey, man! Sometimes you gotta go where you gotta go at. <laughs> Cause you know I don't really be getting twisted no more. So like I be working out. You know that's why I got this beautiful physique right now. And um, it's a very beautiful. Physique. What, what, uh, Thank do, you. Do you know offhand what's the craziest place you ever had to had to take a dump? Emergency dump, man. Oh, at a club. <laughs> at a club. <laughs> I can do it in Beecham. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But it was early, so it didn't really count. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, man, all those people that waiting, uh, waiting on you, man, they have to take a piss, man. Nah, it wasn't <laughs> nobody. It, it was okay. like it was like ten forty five because I used to work at Beecham. Okay, I did security, and then they made me be a bar back because when I was doing security, they want to fight and stuff, and I ain't, boy, I ain't, I ain't fighting nobody. You out your goddamn mind? <laughs> These niggas ain't gonna, gonna do it. Come on, you might want to come sit hey, down. Hey, come on, in, come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. This is a dope show y'all got. Thank y'all for having us on it, man. This is the other half for the winners right here, my brother D-Rug. Yes, sir, what man. Up, What's going on, my man? D-Rug. What's up, my brother? You know, he got to be fashionably late because he a rapper. You know how that's how them rappers do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was taking a dump too, man. Yeah, Simultaneously, well, he, the whole the whole comedy is group that, was taking is a, that what that is? Taking hey, the shit. But what, whatever it is you got on, that thing smells kind of good. Huh? <laughs> that smells good. Whatever you got on. Any, oh, anything's, an improvement the, uh, over, uh, anything's an improvement over what we salads. just dealt with. Huh? The salads. Hey, smell that curve on me. <laughs> that bitch smell good on I'll be on that curve. <laughs> I'm about to start back uh, doing what they call it, blue water. What was the name? Of? Cool blue, cool water. Yeah, I got, I got that shit down. Cool I got water. cool water and uh, what's that? Cologne? Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh yeah, we old. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's the shit that you, your granddaddy met your grandma off of. That cool water. That's what seduced grandma. 
Hmm? That's what seduced grandma. You better believe it. Back in, the, <laughs> back in like the 50s, 60s, the old boys hey, were getting well. that pussy back then. <laughs> 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 so listen, uh, D. Row. When you walked in, we were talking about uh, the winners. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, so what, what 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 you guys have going on with that, um, and what does that entail? Like a comedy group, it, it, you know what I mean? Just some shit Jolly came up with, and I ran with it. Like you know what I'm saying? We was at the house. We used to have this big ass table had in my apartment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had this big ass giant ass night table in my apartment one day, and me and Jolly was just up drinking and smoking and shit, and it's like, man, we gotta come up with something. We the motherfucking winners. I mean, <laughs> that's I his like, voice. I yeah, like, I mean, that, that's I, basically how I happened. I was like, yeah, I like that shit. We is winners, so we just ran with it. <laughs> I mean, and then we just, we, we started actually doing comedy, and uh, we told ourselves we should do this anyway, but I mean, once we did it, it was basically, that's when Orlando comedy got cool. Everybody, a com- comedian now, everybody uh, does this, does that. No disrespect to anyone. But if you feel disrespected, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in the most asshole way I could put it. So have you guys did uh, done any shows together uh, as far as like all three of you guys? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And who is the third guy if you want to uh, speak on his oh, name? Desmond Crazy Ass. Desmond. Desmond. That bitch crazy Desmond for real. Desmond Atkins. <laughs> that bitch slow, man. That bitch is a retard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long have you guys been uh, been in in operation and as the winners? Uh, five years. We'll five be five years, years in uh, May. Yeah, May was the first show. May. Five years in May? Mm-hmm. It was the first show. It was crazy because it was like, he was doing a show with my boy Ross. Shout out to Ross McCoy. Ross the Pine Hills Ninja. And uh, <laughs> I, I asked him, I said, hey, bro, let me get on the show. You know what I mean? And he was like, uh, well, let me hit up Ross. And Ross was like, man, it don't work like that. You can't really do that. Just tell dude to come out. So I was just writing and like thinking of things I wanted to say. And he let me get on the show. And when he let me get on the show, it was amazing. Excuse me. And I ran with it from there. And, you know, I go to Mike's every night. Paid show, not paid. I don't care. I just need the mic time. You know what I mean? Because this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. One day they're gonna see me in stars. I'm gonna have a star in Hollywood fame, whatever they call it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Maybe somebody will shit on it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> That's when you made it when people shitting on your stars. That's right. <laughs> That's the truth, ain't it? So D Rug, you were a rapper at one time. Yes, yeah, still is. Still are. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I still get down. How'd you trans- transition from rapping to comedy, though? I just did it. it wasn't, Cause I always was funny. Like okay. I always, always. It was one of two things I wanted to do when I was a jit, and I was either a rapper or a comedian. So doing the best tra- of both worlds. Yeah, now. like it really wasn't a hard transition over too much. You know what I'm saying? Have you have you combined the two yet? Yes, the, the new album I got coming out. Yeah, now. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah. when's that gonna come out? Um, I'm aiming for August. Okay. okay. Yeah. And where will that be available for people to everything. check out? It's gonna be on everything, all platform. Call. Mm-hmm. I don't give a mammy fuck the album. So. See, <laughs> see, like me and this guy been knowing each other since so the sixth school, grade, literally middle school. And this guy here was like, he is a very bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> like he used because I used to stay right across the street from Carver, so he'll be like, "Hey, bro, let's go to your house and, and play Joe Montana football and yeah. smoke weed." Yeah, I'm like, "Niggas, you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Mom is a ninja." <laughs> but you this know, lady got a black belt. <laughs> That ain't gonna happen. But you know, uh, D. Rug is uh, real cool, man. Because how we met is I just used to follow him on uh, Facebook, social media, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And one day he just put up a post saying, "Hey, I, you know, it was his birthday." Yeah. And he, yeah. Oh, hey, I'm gonna be hanging out at my house for the birthday. Big, big block party. That yeah, night. yeah. Come by, whatever. I didn't know D. Rug from a can of paint as yeah. far as I never met him before in person yeah. or anything. I just DM him, hey, shoot me the address, man. I pull up. Yeah. <laughs> where this was at? At the, at the spot. Uh, no. Pine Hills. When we was in Pine Hills. <laughs> Tell me where we shot the video. Or yeah. We shot the video at. Uh, no, we at, shot at uh, that same house. The house with me and Tree. I remember that birthday party. I was trash. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled up, man. I beat all his family members. We was playing spades and talking, all that yeah. good stuff, man. That was Bro, and, night, and, man. and he came with a bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Much respect. Yeah, 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 like, you know, you know that shit means something. A mm-hmm. motherfucker pull up with a with a fifth, too, at that. Yeah. Pull up with a bottle and you leave the bottle there. That's, that's, yeah. say that's the rules. Yeah. Oh, you better than me. Mine yeah. coming with me. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, better, y'all better drink better up. Some. I don't care how rich I get. You better drink. Drink it, because yeah. I'm going to drink the rest later. Oh, yeah, Jolly, Jolly definitely going to take the bottle. I feel some type of way, though. When you come to a party and you come, you bring the E&J bottle, 
and then nobody Ooh, drank the, the nobody drank the NJ bottle. What you supposed to do? You supposed to leave it there or take it? I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Anybody, y'all don't want that. <laughs> that be going in the garbage. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna throw away my seventeen dollars. I bet you lying. <laughs> you a liar. Your mama don't like you. <laughs> they already showed you they weren't gonna drink it. Exactly, yeah, exactly, man. Exactly, man. Shout out to my brother Terrell because he watching on live and he want to shout out. Shout out Terrell Hall. That's my big brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when, when when's the last time? Like La Jolly says that he goes on every week to get on stage and he works and everything like that. D. Row, when's the last time you've been on stage? I'm a little more bougie than Jolly. Okay. You gotta have a check for me. <laughs> <laughs> but now, see, I go to open mics. Like I'm not or a showcase. Like last night I was at the Bullet Bush. And I went out there, and I'm not going to brag or nothing, but I kind of told them people a new asshole. You know? that's, that's, that's what I do. I mean, but it's about the repetition with me. Like, I'm more of a stand-up comic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he is a stand-up comic, but he don't have the passion for it like I do. Like, he, he has his own brand. He has uh, right. the Magnificent Asshole podcast, probably the dopest show in the city besides y'all's no offense. <laughs> no, <laughs> man. You're going get busy, man. I'm just saying, but, like, you know, it's it, it's all it's all planned out. Like, I come up here for his show. If I'm not on the show, I'm a do something to help out with it because we brothers in real life. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Dude, this ain't no friendship. It's way past that shit. I didn't pass out of his house a thousand times at least. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't lying. <laughs> I ain't lying. And it, it's just, it's deeper than that. It's like, if you got this going on, I'm going to support it. I got this going on, I know he going to come out, you know? Exactly. That's what that's what make things work. You got to have a team with you. Definitely. Okay, okay. Now, d Rod, like you said, you do have the Magnificent Asshole Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, how often does that come out? I'm on, I shoot uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I shoot every Tuesday and Thursday. I did, my first year, I did over 65 episodes. Uh, Damn. Year. That was last year? Yeah. Yeah. That's just, getting after it. I just counted them today. Did 65 of them in one year. But they were good. <laughs> they were good. At, the thing about a good show is not turning it into a shit show when it, when it's like, you just sitting there vibing like no dead air and it's- oh, we had a real shit show. My first episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I mean, what we do is no, different, damn, though. No, that the first episode of the magnificent asshole was with us. Was a shit show. Remember crib, when right? I fell out the chair? Oh boy, <laughs> that man ain't fall out one time. He fell out twice. twice. <laughs> Dude, he was sleeping like this here, Joe. Bro, I'm Boom. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn. Hey. <laughs> you, you you gotta go back and listen to that episode. That shit is hilarious, bro. I, and you have and you have so many guests on. Like, what you what what do you do when you get a boring guest or somebody who don't you know who don't communicate well or whatever? What what you do then? Cut the interview short. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or take or take the show over and yeah. we just be crapping around. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. I ain't yeah. got I ain't got I ain't got pa- I ain't got patience no more. So I just be like, man, fuck it. All right, uh, wrap this up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where can they find you on social media? You? <laughs> How can they follow you? I wrap that shit up. <laughs> wrap it up. Yeah, man. But but that comes with repetition as well because like I got podcast equipment, chicken in my pocket, but I never really, I don't have the passion for it like he does. Right. Yeah. Like, so he's he, like vice versa. He has the passion for the stand up. I got the passion for the music and the podcast. Gotcha. Like, you know what exactly. I mean? But we all gonna do it as, together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do, you know what I mean? Music and then comedy. What, what gets you more pussy? <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna front music. Music, I yeah. thought so. Yeah, I music. thought so. I get a lot of puss off of comedy, but it's usually like uh, milfs. Yeah, milfs. like milfs. comedy. Comedy pussy is different. I got like explain. A, uh, like comedy. Just... Comedy pussy is different because you know you get established women and you know. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you got you got yeah. women that you got. You might meet a woman at a comedy club. Ain't been out in like eight, nine, ten years. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And she just there. And she trying to suck some dick. I got just because you was funny. Last you know what I'm last night you. at Bullet Bush, it was a chick. She was hitting on me, and I was like. I'm not gonna do this because I'm trying to make it to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, she was like, and that's gonna be the deciding factor. Yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> some, God, ran, yeah, some yeah. random professional bitch out on a fucking Thursday. <laughs> he gonna be like May 7, 2021. Remember the girl you banged and you ain't calling no more. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it's it's different. Like it's I think comedy pussy is 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 crazy because it's usually older women who know who they are, so they're not like yeah. young girls. You don't really, they gonna ask you, hey, you want another drink? You wanna go to this place after? And I'm yeah. like, bitch, you trying to fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it means. I've seen this shit before. You ain't gonna do this to me. <laughs> you will not do this to me today. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Take me on a date, motherfucker. Hey, by the way, by the way, I love your train stories. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Failed train stories, man. Because me and Jolly got an ultimate train story. Oh, we got to hear that right now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you want to hear the story? Absolutely. We got to hear it. Absolutely. You, you want me to tell it? You gonna... Yeah, we go ahead. I'll just feed off of you. All right. This how it went. Okay. <laughs> Boom. So I'm working on iDrive, right? <laughs> so it's a little it's a little chick that he used to kick it with. We ain't going to say no names to protect yeah, the innocent. Gonna, they, 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 don't, they don't say names either. So. And the guilty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we he he hit me up. He like, yeah, bro, we gonna come pick you up. You know what I'm saying? I know you get off, and I was like, all right, yeah, cool. So he come pick me up. We go downtown. This when planking was out. Remember everybody was planking on shit. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, we, bro, we social media crazy. We, yeah, we planking on everything. Like we downtown planking on on this shit. <laughs> yeah. It's just so retarded. It's just, yeah. We just planking and planking. And I was like, yeah, bro, y'all drop me off. And then she was like, oh no. You could come back to the room mm-hmm. too. Yeah. I said, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I ain't gonna be no cop blocker." <laughs> nah, and and it bitch looks, the bitch fine too. Now. Okay, yeah, she's she okay. She okay, bad now. Bad okay. Bitch. So we at the Days Inn right there on OBT <laughs> and Thirty Four. <laughs> We go back in there. She was like, hold on, I'm going to get in here and freshen up. <laughs> she went in the bathroom. Put and, on some damn lingerie shit. Oh, yeah. But none of the shit was matching. She had like a, <laughs> a top <laughs> bottom. Yeah, she had like some brown panties. <laughs> yeah. And like it was a like a pink, pink bra. bra. <laughs> that's, that's good to cover up the skid marks. <laughs> but but she, she was a professional woman, though. She wasn't like no, you okay. know, she get, like, she get money now. Yeah. Was she colorblind? Nah, nah, maybe she just didn't feel like it. When you get grown, you don't give a you damn about no the matching panties? Yeah, that shit gonna make my dick soft. Hell no. <laughs> so we get in there, and you know, we... Doing the do too. Doing you know? the do. And then I was like, I nutted in her armpit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm talking shit, about this nigga. Oh, no, did she, did she have her arms open? Yes. Like, on purpose, the bitch like, was laid back like this. Okay, okay. And Jolly and that bitch, uh, uh, <laughs> he was like, ah, uh, she like, said, bitch, you just got nut in my armpit. I <laughs> said, yes, <laughs> bitch, I just nut in your armpit. Just, what you gonna do? I was she like, was, damn, Jolly, your aim is off. <laughs> she was mad. Was she mad? Or nah, no, she was she just was like, what the fuck? Okay. She's still my homegirl to the day. <laughs> okay, okay. Like we still tight to the day, bro. Like to the day, right now. <laughs> It was that's hilarious, man. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a true story, man. That's once, hilarious. Once you nut in a girl's armpit, I mean, you're there for life. Yeah, I mean, yeah. shit forever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she let you nut in her armpit. That should mean she'll keep them, man. <laughs> Did she wash it off or use it as deodorant? That's what oh, I was. She might have let that bitch sit there. I don't remember, <laughs> but I was drunk as hell. Yeah, we were drunker than the motherfucker. <laughs> Yikes, man. Yikes. Them the good old days, man. I, ain't no way I ain't running the train with nobody now, because, bitch, yeah, I, no. my body don't look the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's I why I say, I say it's, a, it's a kind of an age thing to a train. At a certain yeah. point, uh, you just, you know, you yeah. good with trains. You don't want to see yeah. no grown man, see nigga. Dick. Yeah, I like, <laughs> you know Because I mean? you don't be looking when you a jit, but you might just, you be back there, pop. Bop, showing out, you might just peek down there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no peeking now, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no peeking now. <laughs> I don't know why we was so fascinated with that shit as a well, Yeah, trains, man. Running the trains. Oh, like, it was just, it was a big thing, man. And I it mean, make it I so mean, bad. Like, I always met the bitches that like to get trains ran on them. Like, I was the train dude. Like, <laughs> no, I, I, think it, I think so you all, the, like, all, chicks, all the chicks used to like me. So, you know, I used to find them one or two or three of them that... All right, I, I think come it, on. I think the fascination was to see how far she would go. Yeah. Okay. Like that would now, definitely. Yeah. Now yeah. as an adult, like I try to make a woman do like the weirdest shit now. You know, because yeah. I'm single, I'm probably never gonna be in a relationship. I'm just gonna be rich and famous, and I'm just gonna be banging bitches. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So, like I mean, but I mean, I'm just being honest with myself because I know I'm selfish, and I get to a point where I'm kicking it with a chick. She started liking me, and then I'm like, all right, it's time to cut this shit off. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't need you to ask me, why you didn't text me good morning and all that shit? Bitch, because I was busy. I was jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> Here you want with me, I'm jacking my dick, and you bothering me right now, you selfish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're so selfish. Fucking so what's bitch. the weirdest thing you've had a chick do? Lick my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I just got rid of a girl, man. But yeah, Bubba, yeah. Man. You ever was... got your butthole lit? No, but one wanted to do it. I had to get rid of him. Man. It ain't nothing sexy about getting your butthole lit. So. <laughs> I know it, man. Cause you gonna be it, you gonna be in the buck or something. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? You go either, either the position in the, you got to get in. Either in the book or in your stomach. Yeah, it you know ain't none I mean? of them cool. And with your face, with your face biting the pillow. Face in the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> one, one time when I went to FAMU, I was going to FAMU. I had the Geo Metro up there. I'm up there by the stadium. Uh, Shout out to the Geo, man. Yeah, the Geo, the Geo, Geo small in there. <laughs> little igloo car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, at this point, I'm like 6'1". I got the fucking back of the car is in the trunk. You know what I'm saying? I got the <laughs> she went to hit that head, she was hitting that head, and I did like this here and lean back. And she said, I said, Whoo! <laughs> the devil is a liar, you're not gonna do me like this. <laughs> yeah, they look at bitch. They look at booty hole at FAMU. I went to the wrong school. <laughs> it, was just, it was just one cat from Miami. He had a video of a girl eating his ass. Oh, yeah, man. A video. Man, this was back when VH, yeah, like, this wow. was when VHSs was like, oh, so it was like one of them big ass cameras. Like, bitch, you don't see the camera on? <laughs> you don't see that red light? This that big ass VHS camera. <laughs> she thought she was going to make it to the big screen. Bro, <laughs> this was before DVDs. Like, that nigga was like, yeah, nigga, we'll go in there to buy weed. And he'll be like, yeah, old girl, lick my ass and put that big-ass VHS in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shit is crazy, man. You, you think he bothered to get that thing converted to a DVD? <laughs> probably about now. He probably still got it. <laughs> he got it, man. He's, he's still a weirdo if he got DVDs. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck like, got DVDs, DVDs these true, days. True, true, true. <laughs> I got some dirty shit in my phone. You but gotta, nobody will ever. That's why I gave you the passcode when I was in jail. Oh, I, I didn't, man. I, I, you I knew not, you not to look through your goddamn phone. <laughs> I can imagine the weird shit that's in your goddamn camera roll. You know, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Cankles. Oh, Cankles. Yeah. Gotta love it. Oh, <laughs> no, no, what you call that bitch? What you say she had? Gout. That's her name. Gout. 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 Yeah, that's a good <laughs> But she down, she down with me. That's my partner, man. I ain't gonna lie. He called this bitch gout leg. Her legs look like hot dogs. Like they just like <laughs> Hey, but that she's like one size from, <laughs> the, from the thighs to <laughs> the feet. Yeah. She got she looked good oversized them gout legs. <laughs> <laughs> and she pretty. And that bitch eat dick like a champion. You know what I mean? Go that on. bitch eat dick. You got to be like, bitch, get my dick back. Because I can't have no more of this shit. You got eating that dick like that. Bitch, I got shit to do tomorrow. <laughs> she got to keep eating that dick. I done nut it. Bitch, I done nut it. Leave me alone. I, I be hating that shit. Don't... That. I, they be sucking your soul when they do that. Man, listen, that's when you start. That's a cheat code. Yeah, that's why I leave them alone at that point. Like, right. I'm not leave my dick alone. Because you is not going to do me like this, and I be thinking about you, and I'm inboxing niggas that's liking your pictures. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, what's up, bro? Have you ever inboxed somebody in that situation? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm a true player, man. I done had, had motherfuckers hit me up about they bitch. Yeah? Yeah, please. Yeah, but yeah. you you an asshole, bro. Like you <laughs> Magnificent <real> asshole. asshole. <laughs> I had one dude hit me up about his girl and I don't I didn't even know her and then and he asked me about her, so I'm like, who you talking about? So he showed me the bitch. I said, now nah, I want to fuck her. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, dog just, ass. now just, I want to fuck this bitch. Like, <laughs> I had a dude call me from jail, man. He used one of his... Uh, what's it, Damn, how he got your <laughs> number from jail? What's, what's it, Johnny? from jail? No, no, man, he called me from jail, man. I had to press accept call. I, <laughs> I had to press, do you, uh, what do you say? Do you accept, accept these? Accept these calls? Yeah, yeah, do you accept these? I said, yeah, man. He gets on them. You got to leave. So, you got to leave. So and so alone, man. Bitch, you in jail. I might go fuck her right now. <laughs> Dumb ass. Listen, man. Every time I was over there and he called her phone, man, I made her give me some head every time. Yeah, Cause she had to talk to him. She like, yeah. he, he crazy. I gotta talk to him every time he called. I said, okay. Every time he called, him, and he'll be like, he'll be like, what you what you eating over there? What's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, you know what's crazy? When I was in jail, I hear them jits. Them jits be on the phone, and everybody. Who is that fart? And you don't even fart like that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Stay listen. away from that phone, man. That's we go, evil, bro. We gonna get into that because Jolly did just get out of jail. You know, mentioned it a couple times. So we gonna get we gonna get right back into that. We are gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we gonna get into uh, Jolly stay in, in jail and how, and how he's being received. Now he's back in the comedy circuit. Okay, and then we also have a short clip of me hitting the stage. We are gonna have these two guys critique. 
uh, uh <laughs> my little two minute set on okay, stage. It wasn't bad, bro. It and was then, good. And you then just... I, <laughs> I was nervous. Exactly. And, and then I hope these guys have their top five comedians ready because we're going to oh, get yeah, in you that know too. Ready. You on the bench with Bubba hey, and Pink. You know, bro, come to April. Who that? This bro. right here is uh, Mook Boy featuring Kevin Cossum, Orlando T Bubba and Pink. Once again, that was Moot Boy featuring Kevin Cossum with attention. It is on all streaming platforms, all right? Well, we are sitting here with Jolly, all right, and, and D-Rub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Hey, thank y'all for having us. It's a real dope show, man. Yes, Shout sir. out to Bubba and Pink, man. Yeah. Highly appreciate all the love, man. It's been a very good vibe. You feel it, me? Exactly, man. Now, Jolly, you, you, you just got out of uh, jail here, man. Uh, what what was that experience like, and what has it been now that you you're back out and you're hitting the the, the clubs again? It's just jail. Like, ain't, you ain't worried about nothing. Shit, I weigh two twenty. Think I'm worried about somebody? <laughs> <laughs> it's just you just see a lot of crazy shit. What what kind of crazy shit did you see? Niggas washing bitches drawers for soups and shit. Washing they drawers for soup. Bitches. For soup, man. A motherfucker had a whole damn um laundry service in that bitch. Thermals and all for soups. <laughs> He'll wash the thermal for two soups. Nigga, that's a dollar twenty. On the streets, that's fifty cents. <laughs> like, what, chicken what kind noodle? of I was about to say, what kind of soup? Chicken noodle, Italian wedding? What we well, well, no, like ramen noodles. Like, yeah. Oh, ramen noodles. Oh, you call ramen noodle soup? That ain't that's what soup? they call in the joint. They oh, yeah. soup. It's oh, a soup on the dime. 
Yeah, they call them soup <laughs> and the bing bing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, it, it was, news to me. It was nothing. It was just funny. It was just like, I had, right. I had a job in there. What was your job? Well, I had, a, I worked in the kitchen. I was washing dishes. And I was washing dishes for extra bologna sandwiches. And I watched the <laughs> fuck out of them dishes. With them over, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was employee of the week two times. Congratulations. They, they get my employee of the week. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> you get like a, you get a little shot of coffee or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it, was, it was just, it was, I'm, I was there. Like, mentally, I wasn't there. Like, one thing it, it taught me how to do is, uh, I've always been this way as far as, like, mentally, I'm, like, somewhere else. I'm already at this stage of success I'm trying to reach mentally right. at all times. So, like, you can't take my mind. Physically, I'm here, but mentally, I'm somewhere else. Like, I call this cat and tell him, hey, bro, we're going to do this. We're going to run this. We're going to do this and do that. And you know what I mean? And now I'm in the process of making this happen. Of ha making it happen. You feel me? And, like, one thing it did do for me, I used to really have a drinking problem. Mm -hmm. Like, now I know how to socially drink. Okay. I never knew how to do that before. Okay. And, like, I get on the stage and it still be funny, but... It's not as funny as it was if I'm sober. Like, my last couple of weeks, I've been, like, destroying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what I did 30 minutes last Tuesday, and it was, like, Rah! people in there, like, Rah! <laughs> and I was, like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I understand the difference now, but. I was going to say, in the past, did you feel like you needed to drink to get up and do what you were doing, or no? no? I, I just needed a drink to drink because uh, I, I deal with a lot of issues that I don't talk about. And maybe gotcha. I should probably see a shrink. But I think I got it under control. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got life situations that I don't really speak about because I just try to stay positive. I'm staying positive, but you're getting drunk at the same time. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, like what, what, are you, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? It yeah. makes sense, but I'm getting drunk. And then that, I'm getting drunk to go to sleep. I'm getting drunk to wake up. You know what right. I mean? So That is a running thing that people have never seen Jolly uh, sober. That's, mm. That was a running thing, wasn't it, Rob? <laughs> I still ain't seen this. <laughs> <laughs> despite this, this, despite this social, <laughs> social I was sober for like them 20 minutes when I got out when I seen it. I yeah. There you go. That's about it. The now, ride, the ride, the ride from uh, jail to the to the liquor store. <laughs> now, Rug, and Rug did hold you down while you was in there, man. Yeah, that's my partner, yeah, man. Yeah, like, he, I, he I, I, I released all of my property to him because I knew that like if I needed something, he got me or he'll shoot something on my books or like... Mm -hmm. Get me an eye care or something, you know what now, I'm saying? Now, D Rod, some people thought you, that, that, that you wasn't. Like, it was, some people were saying it was that a you. was scam. Yeah, like it was a scam. I'm like, are y'all stupid? It was, this it was, is my brother. You know who it was? It was people that don't know us. Right. Because if everybody. Don't know your relationship. If, if niggas who know us know motherfucking well, okay, bro, ain't playing. Jolly is locked up. Okay. Right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was mostly a lot of them old puss, puss ass comics that, that don't know us for real. You know right. what I mean? Right. They know Jolly, they don't know me. See, the thing is about these comics, bro, what he be getting mad at, I be telling him, bro, we can't take this to no street shit. Mm -hmm. These people here losers. You know what I'm saying? Like, the open mic is their fantasy. They go to a they go to a showcase, and that's as far as you're going to go. Ain't nobody finna give you no money for no show. Yeah. You can't demand no money. Right. You ain't even funny enough for none of that. And I tell him, like, like bro, like, leave them people alone. And he be like, no, fuck that, fuck that. And I be like, bro, these ain't street cats we dealing with. They gonna call the law on your dummy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And want to be coming out and want to be going in. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. Yeah. And, and, and I be like, I be like, bro, you know what I mean? You gotta know how to play them like a fiddle. Right. Right. You gotta play them like how the game go. It's it just like 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 pipping a hole. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta play the game how the game go. Like mm -hmm. you'll never hear me diss nobody, for the simple fact I'm funnier than you, and I'm giving you more clout when I bring your name up. Exactly. Because you're a fucking cornball. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like, I be trying to, I can't, sometimes I can't talk to this guy. He just go off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I get it, though, because he, he came from, like, he used to be a, well, he still is a rapper. Yeah, and so that's you, part of it. He bringing the rap. To the comedy, yeah. That's how I treat this shit, though. Right. Yeah, I, I told him it, we like, can't do that. I treat it like, like the rap shit. That's why I. When I when we when we was like starting to do this shit, I was like, man, we might as well throw our own shows. What the fuck we need to be at? Yeah, and that's what we for? did. Right. Shout out to Robert Stafford, Shout out to Robert Stafford, celebrity, but we Bill been, Buns. We've been booking our own shows worldwide. You know what I mean? Like we were doing. We had the basement downtown once a month on Wednesdays. We got like eighty people there, yeah, bro. Every, right. every month. small ass room, and it was like I was like, okay, we got some. And that's when Robert Stafford was like, okay, well, like the first show I did was at. The Phantom Bar, we had like 200 people. Oh, that's yeah. when I was wasted that night. Bro, listen, <laughs> listen, the man's so wasted, 
He I got crawled. on the stage like this. Crawl up on the stage. He, he crawled on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm how, how is it doing the show that drunk though? I mean, like, it, but that night I killed though. It depends. Yeah, it all but depends. so how? Like, it, it, you already Wait. know your stuff. Is it something you you no, done see, this over and it, over again? See, you lose. This the this is this is the trick to it. You're gonna fail doing it. Like you know what I'm saying. But the trick is to drink just enough. To, you know what I'm saying? Cause right. you will go over that 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 threshold real fast. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I done did it. Like like I don't know how you drink, but like like the first night when you did it, you 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 have like great premises. Mm -hmm. The only difference is like I was telling you, like when you're doing a comedy, and you're talking to someone, like how I'm talking to you now, they have to believe what you're saying. Yeah. Right. And then once you get to the point where they believe what you're saying, you can tell them, man, I was riding a cow when that bitch jumped over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You believe that, though, right? Exactly. And that's exactly. that's the whole, that's the difference. That's the catch. Because you're a writer. You got a sick-ass pen. Right. Like, I ain't going to talk about your joke, but you had me crying on that first joke. <laughs> well, let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and get into it since you, since you brought it up. I'm going to leave the mic song, and I'm just going to play it. It's just a a, a minute and 10-second clip, all right? So we're going to play it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't use the same. I didn't yeah, use the whole one. It was one. good. All right, so here we go right here. Turn this up. Some BBD plan? Yeah. <laughs> he, he bought me Shout up. Shout out to Will Mills. That's a vibe over there. Yes, sir. Yeah, for real. That's a vibe over yeah, there. Every Tuesday. Real. Oh, we go there every Tuesday. That's our hangout. I came in like 30 seconds. She just killed, man, to this day, man. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. That shit's so good. On the toll road, trying to find a change in your car. We're talking about burnt hot teeth, loops. You know what I'm talking about, man? Extremely loose. So, <laughs> you see this part right here? This is where I fucked up. I'm trying to find the walls. I'm in there. I'm having that way. There's a wall out of here, man. I'm trying to find the walls. There's doom. You hear the silence? Yeah. That's why I fucked up. But no, listen. If you tag that that's pretty bitch, much it. Tell you, go ahead. You tag that bitch. Right but when you say, like, right when you say, I was stealing her coochie. That's that was the height. Chop it and then go to tagging it. You gotta okay. cut the fat. Cut, cut the, the fat. fat. Like you don't need all that other People shit. People don't want to okay. hear about it. They laughing that already. Like, they that's laugh, what I'm saying. Laugh, laugh, like laugh. they already ha ha ha. When you when you said so, that, I said, oh shit. my like, you know god. What I'm saying? You got them now. You don't because what you're doing with the other jokes is like you still trying to convince them. Hey, chick, like you know what I'm saying? You right. just but convincing yeah, people that bit. about the whole ride yeah. that you're going. Now y'all just use the term tagging. What do you mean by that? Like adding on shit. Like he said, okay. Uh, he I reached a moment in, in that joke. I and was still in that go? pussy. Yeah. I was still in that pussy. Should I have my arm hanging out? You tagging it. You, yeah, you, you tagging, you saying it. shit. Like, yeah. You saying okay. shit that's funny with it. I think, right, right, I think right. she had speed bumps yeah, in her yeah, pussy. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You start, you start, you start. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you. okay. Because you okay. hit them with the climax. That's the climax. They ain't going to get no higher than that. So once they there, then you just start. Just back, back it. Yeah, exactly. That's how you work a good joke. But that's a good joke, though, bro. That's a good joke. Yeah, that's a good joke, bro. And you and you said something about like the turnpike too with that shit. It yeah. Was like what the fuck? Cause I listen, bro. Like one yeah. thing. One thing. I'm at, I'm at the point right now. I go to open mic sometimes to bring life to them because you got comedians like y'all over here, y'all over here. Ain't nobody gonna get here until y'all come here together. That's when we gonna go to another state, another level as far as Orlando comedy. Cause we got a lot of dope ass comics here. Ain't no reason why I gotta move to L. A. or New York or some shit to get found. Yeah. I'm here. That's yeah. what they, that's, that's what a lot of people say. But man, but, fuck all that shit, yeah. man. We got the internet now. Right. Y'all gonna know who the fuck I am <laughs> out here. It's the truth. No, but if you, I mean, if you get talented people around each other, it's gonna become competitive. They're gonna yeah. make each other better. Exactly. But, but it's not compet. Like, okay, when I first started, right? It was Justin Lawson. It was Marcus Crespo. It was fucking Tommy O'Neill. It was Ross Paget. 
and you got to follow these motherfuckers. Shout out to Ross. That's my favorite. And, and and I get I got better by following them, but then when I get off the stage, it ain't like, oh, you ain't do shit. It's like Justin Lawson will be like, hey, bro, you should have you should probably listen. Just listen. Kermit Gonzalez. Shout out to Kermit. Harry Buffalo's every Monday. That's a vibe. Um, it's like, hey, you could probably tag that bitch with this. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, listening yeah. to your shit. A collaborative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we on the same team. I got I want you, yeah, you yeah. to be better. Because right. when you get better, we got better shows. Right, right. Yeah. Ross, mm-hmm. Ross Padgett did that to me, and I was like so fucking like, like. <gasps> Ross like, Padgett is a hunter, bro. Because that motherfucker funny as Tune in to fuck, Ross Padgett bro. every Thursday on the Jim Colbert Show 104.1 Talk Radio. My brother Ross Padgett. Man, Ross yeah. Padgett is a whole hunter. Yeah, I'd have been in a couple of videos that went viral with him. Whole hundred. And he a couple of times he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna take you on the road." I think like one time. That's a white boy who ain't scared of no urban. He's, he's Hell a, he's no, a, he's he a come in and eat your fucking what? head. Talking about I saw. I, I've head. seen a couple. I've seen one other one. What, what the, the the skinnier? Uh, what his name is? The, Christoph. Uh, yes, that's him. Christoph eat. Christoph. Christoph. You, you know that Christoph? I know Christoph. Christoph Jeans, Christoph Chris Jeans. Shout out to Christoph Jeans. That's my partner, man. Yeah, he do. I, I like Christoph him too. Jean but they, they're the similar. They're similar man. into that point yeah. where they can go anywhere and they're comfortable. Yeah, like, it's fucking different. Ross, Ross is a beast. Well, well Christoph wasn't really comfortable I seen at Ross first. Christoph wasn't comfortable at first. I told him, I say, bro, just chill and do you. Right. But because like people be thinking like urban rooms is somewhere like comics go to die. Right. <laughs> I I do an urban room because I'm like fuck y'all, bitch. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Like, goddamn Bernie is. <laughs> right, right. Put it like this, that urban, them urban rooms are to test your motherfucking gangster, nigga. Yeah, that's, that's how you know where <laughs> you like, that's how, that's how you know if you really funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. If you can go and make some niggas laugh first. Because niggas is going to come in that bitch. Like, when we did the seafood and juicy shit. <laughs> I came in that bitch and destroyed that bitch. Oh, you know, I, 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 had to, I, like, I, I had to stab <laughs> their ass up, though. Yeah, you stabbed them <laughs> up. Urban, urban rooms, it's like they... they they don't want to laugh. Like, they come there not yeah. to laugh. So you got to loosen them up. Right. They right, be too right. fresh. It's, they it's, be. It's, the thing about an urban room is this. You got to, like, there's no, like, the host is the main guy in the urban room. Yeah. You got to tell okay. these people, hey, shut the fuck up. These people been there. You know what I mean? You got to be the one, you kind of biting the bullet as a host. Yeah. Right. Because you the one who orchestrates, you the MC. You orchestrate the whole show. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you orchestrating it right, It'll go how it's gonna go, but if you scared of these motherfuckers and you saying that shit like you don't mean it, they gonna be like, "Boo, <laughs> bitches ain't no Apollo." Yeah, <laughs> you out here booing. But I mean, it, it make you a better comic. Right, it does. I bummed one time in Coco, boy, when I was about four, five months in, <laughs> fucking with Jersey. Shout out Jersey, the Haitian sensation, man. That's my brother, though. <laughs> where, where were you at? You said Coco. Yeah, this, this but, story is funny. Well, listen, I bombed so hard in that bitch. I'm in that bitch. I ain't gonna say the name of the host. That's still my partner, but like he he uh he went up there because when you the host, you gotta say some jokes to loosen them up, right? Because once they start getting loose, you good. Yeah, I'm like four five months in the comedy, bro, but I'm on fire. I ain't really been bumped too many times. I, I'm killing, nigga. I'm doing this shit every night. I'm killing. I'm like, this shit gonna be a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> I go up there and I'm thinking I'm gonna just do my material, go right into my material. First joke that bit went. <laughs> I seen the bit Nothing. going. That shit got about three jokes in. Nigga said, "Hey, how are you gonna say something funny?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "God damn!" I said, "What you said?" <laughs> he said, "We gonna say something funny?" I said, "All right, fuck y'all." <laughs> so I hung the mic up, and then. But the thing is, comedy is structure structure to it. Everybody who was with me. Will Mill, it was fucking Marley there. They was like, bro, that wasn't really your fault. The host set you up for failure. But I didn't know no better. Right. You know what I'm saying? We was outside and everybody talking about when they bombed before. Like, if you a comedian and you say you ain't never bombed, you ain't I, did I, enough. I've right? never, I never bombed before, though. What? Yeah. I never bombed before. There he is. <laughs> but you ain't really a shot comedian. Skis. The fucking unicorn. Yeah. You no, know, I could say shot skis. But I nigga, that's a bomb. I won't call that a bomb. <laughs> it's just that them motherfuckers don't pay attention to that. Like... I was up there doing comedy, <laughs> and it was a bitch at the bar pulling out her titties. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I was doing cocaine off the bar. I couldn't, I couldn't compete, compete with that. titties. Yeah. Like, yeah, I couldn't yeah. compete with that. Like, I'm they was out. at the bar, 
and this bitch over at the bar just showing her titties and shit. So. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Timmy Time, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, brother, Timmy, man. man. But yeah, man, Shotskis was the hard ass <laughs> room. Shout out to you, titties too. But <laughs> you know and, it's crazy. And ass. After that, after you did your thing, I got up there and slayed the room. But that's because I'm a killer. <laughs> but that come with repetition. I be telling him that he be like, man, fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but the deep got D to your point because I I came out to a place uh, uh, Jolly was hosting. Jolly did a good job of because uh, it was like a, a it becoming to be a shit show. A lot of people just coming there from the Magic game. They talking loud. You know what I'm talking Last about? Last Monday, yeah, yeah, every Buffalo's. So at that point, when you when you a comedian coming up on stage, you have your set and what you want to say. You have the, yeah. direct, the, the direct jokes that you want to do. So. The people that are coming up, they can't do they can't do their set. Everybody talking, they doing their own thing, they heckling and all that shit. So the the comedians that did well what was only about two to three. Because you gotta max. grab they fuck ass. You like, gotta I, grab their I'm, attention. I'm, I'm, you gotta I'm, go I'm, away I'm, from your set. I'm taking the bullet as the host. I'm fucking with y'all. Right. right. Y'all ain't talking no more. You paying attention to me. So when you as the comic come up, you got thirty seconds to get these people attention to keep them on the ride. Mm-hmm. If you can't and you and you trying to work on something new and all of this, but that comes with repetition as far as being a comic. Like everybody think this shit is easy. Oh, I want to go in there and take my own thing. You know, it, it don't work like that. <laughs> it's 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 like it's the balance of the universe or whatnot. Like people watching what you're saying, but it's like, are they really watching what you're saying? Exactly. Right. Exactly, and, and it, you gotta you gotta you gotta understand that. But that come with a lot of bombs. I've bombed a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, one time I thought I was a unibomber. <laughs> <laughs> his, his first his first first show out, he bombed. Hmm. You, uh, when your first you nigga, first... I ain't bomb. Bitch, where was that whale spot? Hey, I did not bomb. It wasn't as good as I would like it to be. But nigga, everybody you was the one said you bombed. But that's 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 me telling you that to my standards. Okay, like everybody that was at the show was like, Nah, that shit was funny as fuck, bro. The shit was good, but my standards. I keep myself on a higher pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Mentally for myself as far as my craft. So, like, I bombed to my eyes, but everybody else was like, man, they were laughing their ass off. That shit was funny. But to me, it was a bomb. Okay. To me, because... To you, man, what's fuck you. I, I <laughs> named seven times you bomb, motherfucker. You ain't Wait. showing out them national TV. Yeah. <laughs> national TV. <laughs> Bitch, you bombed on national TV. When I was on national TV. No, he's on national saying, TV he's, right now. <laughs> he's saying this is national TV. <laughs> NBC, man. Uh, damn jolly, man. Listen, to, let, let's talk about some guys who uh, may have not bombed as many times as me and Jolly, okay? <laughs> so I want to hear your Wait, t- can we agree that Bubba bombed, though, or no? No, I wasn't a bomb. Jolly okay. going to say no. Jolly I nice, mean, because, but No, no, because I, I just want, I don't. One thing when it's the first time you've ever taken a stage. Right. It's my first it's time like taking a stage. You feel like this, your bombing don't count. You don't count. Okay, time. okay. Like it don't count. Like <laughs> we get a mulligan. He don't even have a voice. Yeah, like you, right. know, like you, you don't, don't you don't know what style comic you are. You don't know if you're gonna be a laid back comic. You don't know like if you're you trying on some pants. Involved. Like you know what I'm saying? You're right. trying on the pants. They yeah. fit, they fit. They don't exactly. know. You you wear a sixteen slim, but you try to only sixteen huskies. Man. Gotcha. Well that's kiddie <laughs> shit. I used to wear a sixteen slim. And the, but the cra- and the craziest thing is the shit be sounding so funny in your head when you come up with some shit. You like you finna kill Jolly first day. Jolly said, "What you think you would go Kevin Hart? The motherfuckers be falling out their chair." And I'm thinking to myself, "Yeah, <laughs> nigga, I did." Oh, wow. I did always, that it always be the joke that you least expect. Like you don't like the first time I did comedy. Like I said, that raw shit. All of our people were there because they were like. Oh, we shit. we, we were posting like, up. oh, these niggas doing comedy now? Like, Finally. oh, bitch. We probably need to do it. <laughs> see, that's what separates me and Jolly from a lot of comics is that we had a fan base in middle school. Mm. Like, Not so much as a fan base. We had our family support. Family, us. like, you know, because we used to always, like, me and Jolly. I say fans. Me and Jolly could crack. Family, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We, oh, yeah. we, we I, was good at cracking on people. I eat cracking. a bitch whole face off. We, like, <laughs> I don't crack on people no more. I still do. Fight. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> You're an <laughs> asshole, though. That's why your show is a magnificent asshole podcast. <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays at O'Reilly Studios. It's a cheap club. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but nah, man. So let's get into what you said. The, the, the yeah, best yo, five? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
your your top five and then your favorite five. It's a difference. Ooh, my top five and my favorite five. Yeah, comedians all time. Why? Why are you going? Thinking? We going local comics and all. Yeah, no, that's why he said top five and favorite. Five. And your favorite five. Okay, right. stand up, stand up comedians. My top is going to be Eddie. Okay. Uh, Martin. Okay. Bernie Mac. Okay. Hmm. Eddie, yeah. Bernie, Martin. Eddie, Bernie, Martin. Who else I fuck with? David Jamie Johnson. Fox. David Johnson. Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. Yeah. In your top five. Yeah, my top five. I ain't in your top five, bro. You on live? You on live favorites. TV now? Yeah, Hold Fox, on, definitely. this this is your favorite or the top five? This is my top five. Okay, because when they, when I say top five, everything goes with that. Yeah, that yeah, means yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The shows, the you know what I mean. So Jamie. Okay. And yeah. much as I hate to say this, uh, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey's a great stand-up. Like he's like on some he on some legendary shit. You know what I'm saying? But my favorite? Yeah, your favorite. Definitely you. Who, I already you know. know who my motherfucker is. Oh, hell yeah, boy. <laughs> Corey Holcomb, nigga. Oh, yeah, okay. I told you he was gonna say <laughs> yeah, Corey. Right, oh right. no, 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 no. Listen, we we yeah, you did. Listen, that's but why you I was shit, just yeah. talking about that. We see Corey every year. And every the thing about come, it is see him. the thing about Corey Holcomb is he know we coming every year. He, he know, know we coming. We he see us. Comedy. Like yeah. last year, I, walk, I walked in the back. I'm in that bitch. I'm like, what up, nigga? I'm in the green room because I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm you good. A, you good in any hood. Yeah, I'm good in any hood. <laughs> All right. So I'm in the back and he like, hey, he was like, yeah, nigga, I knew you were coming. He's like, yeah, nigga, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> you friends with him on Facebook? Yeah. He be kind of doing it on mm-hmm. Facebook. He was like, Corey well, Holcomb he is. The one, he the one who actually gave me that... <laughs> Like one time, one year he came for a show and I was chopping it up with him and shit. And I like gave, you know, asked him for some advice and he like li- literally gave me real advice. Like, good, yo, go do this shit, nigga. Da, da, da. If you feel like it, this motherfucker don't know me from a can of paint. Right. He don't know yeah. if I'm funny but or not. But he, he know us now. Now he yeah, know now, us. Yeah. Like, you know, now because yeah. this is like the every first year, year every year after that, he's seen and we's like, yeah, you know, I've been doing that. And he'd be like, man, I see you. Be like, you know what I'm saying? Cool. So, and this shit was crazy because it was like, I walked back and he was like, nigga, I know who you is. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, he's just fucking with me. And it's like, nah. we kind of making a little noise. You got to think about all the times I shared his shit or all the times I done said something about Corey. Like, you know what I mean? He done seen that shit before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, that you know what I mean? an algorithm for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Like, he done seen that shit before. So yeah. He probably, because, you know, he went to following me at a, at a point in time. So. Yeah, yeah, on Instagram yeah, and Twitter. Yeah, he, he followed me on both of Yeah, he went to follow me, go. so. But he's just a real dude. One thing, like, we, we, it's an April 3rd weekend, man. If y'all ain't doing nothing, make sure we going to pack the house out for Corey Hochul, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's our brother, man. Like, our real brother. Where's he going to show up? love at the imp- yeah, yeah, improv. He still go to, what, I Drive? Yeah. Is that, it's yeah, off I Drive, right? Improv. Orlando Improv. That's when, um, just, I don't know if Just Nash still, uh, Open up for him because I think she had like, so like this. Do not bring your lady to that show. Yes, that, I told you that's his stick. That's Corey Holcomb's stick. Is that's that, a guy's that. trip, bro. <laughs> that's, a guy, that's a guy. Like yeah. that's a guy concept. No, no, no. I'm saying that's his stick. Like that. That's what he attacks. He attacks oh, yeah. like baby mamas. Oh yeah. Oh. Hood, he hood talking chicks. about real yeah. shit. Yeah. Talking yeah. about yeah. real yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's just yeah. talking, yeah. talking about real shit, bro. You yeah. can't hate on it. And, and the thing nah, about no, nah. no, and it's hilarious too. But it's that like it's beyond hilarious. It's like shit he says is like damn, cause yeah. It's like fifty women that's gonna be at that show. Cause the last time, remember, I was I talked them girls that was in line. I was like, "Hey, why y'all here?" She's like, "Bitch, we came to see Corey. You know why we came?" Man, he fried. And they like that dummy. He yeah. fired. He fired some little hoes up. Boy, I'm talking about. He man. gonna get his yeah, yeah. Blues. He'll, he'll give you the work. He told that bitch. Work. He said, "Bitch, I got hundred fifty dollars for you right now." <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> hey, she thought about it. That she bitch did. Thought, yeah. He said, bitch, he said, bitch, come on now. <laughs> come on now, bitch, don't play with it. Wayne is saying on here, he's saying Robin Harris. That is another good one. No, definitely. Uh, a lot of people don't uh, Robin Harris was a good recognize Robin. He, Rob, you know, Robin. he died a little early. Yeah, he but, died but, early. But see, the difference is Robin Harris is more of a comedic actor. No, yeah, he was a no. He was so a stand up guy. But his, first, he was his, a stand up. His stand up yeah. gave him that movie, his, his, Bebe's Kid. Yeah, that's what I said. The that was from his stand up. That's from his stand up. Oh, Robin Harris. I'm yeah. thinking about Robin Williams. No, oh, no. Yeah, Robin no, Harris no, is a no, monster. No, 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 yeah. Robin Harris is a monster stand up wise. Now, you write about Robin Williams. And, and plus, they say Robin Williams used to steal jokes and stuff. The white guy I'm talking yeah, about Robin yeah. Williams. All these motherfuckers stealing jokes. Hey, listen. It's a comedian. I won't say his name, I won't say where he's from. Is he but here he, on the couch with us? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't we, steal jokes. Hey, we, it was a, uh, I, it was a, uh, he, uh, we was at the improv. He came and did a little guest spot. 
I was like new in the comedy. Nigga tried to steal my Trump joke. And the shit yeah. was funny to me. I won't ever say his name. If I see him, I dap him up because I want to let you know I'm glad that you that you like me like that. Right. Nigga, my pen's sick. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I I I I live writing. Ain't mm -hmm. no plan B for me. You know what I'm saying? That's always tricky, man, the stealing jokes thing, man. Well, because, I mean, it's because you're on a higher level than me. Yeah. So you're going to travel the country more, and you can and do my joke, it, and I won't see it. That's what it be about. Like, the big boys are still a little boy shit, and, it's you know, really they got nothing. a bigger following. Yeah. yeah. Everybody be like, oh, I seen him first. Exactly. Right, like, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. When the little guy, you know what I'm saying, the little guy been doing the shit. Exactly. So, Bubba, you seem to have an issue with Jamie Foxx's selection. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Jamie is a hell of an entertainer, but I love. I, I, no, I, I can't go. His stand-up, his two stand -ups, top five. His two stand-ups are fucking classic, bro. Not classic. Fox, That's yes. so strong. And I need security, bro. <laughs> it's I good. need security in the foxhole. Is fucking classic. Come on, man. The man we're talking about don't look Prince in the eyes because he's gonna fuck you. <laughs> like you know. But what I'm you saying, like bro? it because he does the impression too. Like, he's an entertainer. Yes. I know you putting everything. everything. Yeah. You're a writer. He's singing in there. Yes. He's entertaining. You're, you're a writer, so yeah. you're, you're 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 saying like you're you being a writer. You don't respect what he does as far as write the writing craft of it. Yeah, because he puts more into it's like like he said, it's all around. It's in, he gonna yeah, sing, he, he gonna he's dance, gonna animate he gonna he going he gonna everything. It's like, a different type of vibe. It's a different type of uh, a comedy. Like for instance, my top five, my top five, not my favorite, but my top is Richard Pryde, George Carlin, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, and Kevin Hart. Those my top. That's my well, top five. First of all, damn, I can't believe I forgot my dog Dave, bro. Well, first yeah. of all, first of all. I'm sorry. I'm Dave. not gonna put Richard in my top five. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not okay. a big Richard fan either. Okay. All he did was say, "Hey, bitch, and motherfucker." No, nah, I ain't gonna nah, nah, shit nah, on me. I'm gonna nah, shit on me. Nah, nah. What, I ain't gonna disrespect him like that. Listen, I, when, I he mean, do, he's dead, when he do, when he do Mudbone, you ever see Mud? When he do Mudbone, that was Mudbone is funny as fuck. He got yeah, he but got it was like he was he was more of a funny fuck. You know, I just wasn't a big fan of him. The respect I got for Richard is the fact that he took his life and made it that. But when it comes to the creating of a joke, like look at Eddie Murphy when he yeah, was talking Eddie, about Eddie's the Eddie, I got to say Eddie was, in there. Eddie but, the King, like, man. When, he, when Eddie was talking about, and I got in the water, and she got in the water, and she's booty booty, booty booty, motherfucker, booty Google. But listen, man, <laughs> Richard Google. Richard Pryor talked about he got on crack and set himself on fire. Man. Yeah, well, he got a call, he got a bunch of great bits. Yeah, no, Richard, but I Richard think funny. Like Richard I think man. okay, I'm gonna get Richard in. I plus, think Richard, plus, like I say, it's I'm the a, top, so he he not in my top five favorite, but he yeah, is in the yeah, top, he's in top he's because a, of where he's where he's at stature wise. But like this, he he. But that's because of like comedy is he wanted to go. He wanted to go. He wanted to go. I give him that. He wanted to go. Cause I I listened to some Richard one time and I was like, damn, this shit funny as fuck. Yeah. And I was like, I be, I heard some Richard. And I was like, damn, just a bunch you ain't gonna of laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you you can go 20, 20 minutes without laughing at a at a random uh Richard Pryor. Yeah, like, I'm more. Take, he got I'm you more on a ride. Yeah, yeah, I'm he's, more of a Red Fox fan than Richard Pryor. What Red Fox was a Red way is better in my writer. Like, Red, Red was a way better writer. Red is in my Red, favorite. Red, because you know why Red is funny. Red he, is in my Red favorite. Red disrespectful as fuck. Yeah, true. He got he got clean setup jokes. Like he got that set him up sting him jokes. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Like Red is a beast, bro. My my favorite. You can talk about your ass in that crowd. My yeah. favorite, my favorite is Red Fox. Okay. Patrice O'Neal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sinbad, Bernie Mac, and Cat Williams. I give Sinbad his credit too, man. Sinbad, clean, clean. like for, uh, I just never had, curse, never talk about pussy. He never curse, never. Had, and he got like fifteen specials. I just so, had uh, Sinbad got a joke when he talk about dating a young girl, and he couldn't date a young girl because she don't know the signs of stroke. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, no, no. no Sinbad is Sinbad probably is the great. greatest. You know who I, 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 just... I saw him live in Tallahassee when I was oh, in college. Yeah? He actually opened for Luther Vandross. Yeah, <laughs> it was super weird. Yikes. Yeah, it was Sinbad is a different. Yeah, kind of you know, I just wrong. had I just had the Black Tim Allen on the show Thursday, and he revealed to me that was his favorite. Comedian. Yeah, Who's that? Sinbad. 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 Yeah. Sinbad is creative, man. He said that's why he don't curse, cause you know Tim Tim Allen don't curse or none of that shit. Okay, so. okay. Yeah. And he was like his first comedy thing he ever seen was Afros and Bell Bottoms. Oh yeah, he was <laughs> hilarious. He, man. he said he just took off from there, but from I was that, like, wow, Sinbad. He, he but he, he was a beast. And he don't get respect. No, he does. I was gonna say yeah, that. Not at he all. Does he not a clean get a lot of respect. Yeah. That's and I'm talking about Sinbad. Comedy. Sinbad been funny for years too. Yeah, man. Like he was on Walter on a different world. 
Is that the main thing? He though, was that on he's the clean? Walters. Is that why you don't get the respect? Huh? You say he was on the Walters. Remember, he was on a different world as Walter. I thought you said Walter. Yeah, yeah, Walter. He was Walter on a different. Not even. He was Walter on Tony Tony Tone first single. I hey, thought you said the Waltons. Hey, little Walter. He's in the video. No, you remember Walt, the Waltons? I thought you were talking about the Waltons. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Little nah, House nah. on the Prairie shit. Nah. I'm like, damn, they ain't have black people on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the black people were slaves oh, shit, back then, nigga. I know, I know what, what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? That nigga said the Waltons? <laughs> There are black people on that shit. <laughs> that shit's old as hell, though. What? I used to hate when my mama watched that shit. Oh, what, the Waltons? The Waltons and Little House on the Period. Oh, I, that was the one. My father watched what, that fucking Little House on the Period. Good night, Mo. <laughs> Good night, Paul. Good night, John Boy. I used to do that in jail. I used yeah. to do that when everybody bought it and they make us go to sleep. Yeah. I just be like, Good night, Mo. <laughs> Somebody say, Good night, Mo. Oh, good, good night, night John Boy. <laughs> well, and shit, we're going to make the best out of every situation. Mo wins, man. Exactly. Mo wins. Man. What, 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 what you guys want to say, man, closing it out? I want to tell my top five, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know? Damn, I didn't right get the UN that, pink. You got, you got right over that. Go yeah, ahead, man. bro. That shit racist, dog. <laughs> pink like that, bro. Because that man got damn Puerto Rican or whatever. <laughs> I thought you were Puerto Rican when we were talking about. You just regular white. Yeah, regular white. <laughs> I could have sworn you were Puerto Rican that night. That's why I didn't know you How come they call you Pink? That's my last name. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I thought it was like some. Uh, I thought nah. you was gonna give me a weird nah, story. No, it's not a tribute. It's not a tribute to. Like a bitch opened up my ass cheeks and my asshole was red and. All right. <laughs> they just called me Pink since then. Like, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I just said I thought he was gonna give me a weird story I, 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 about I, I, his I, I, name being Pink. So, uh, so you gonna go first, Pink? And I'll go, go first. Cause I think you do a better job bringing it home than I will. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would, I would say Dave Chappelle for me, mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy, who was that was like yeah. defined comedy when I was a little kid. That was the guy. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Um, yeah, God, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do like, um, I like Kevin Hart. He's mm-hmm. solid. He's mm-hmm. solid. Um, George Carlin's too old and dry for me. I don't, yeah. I don't think I, I can. It's deal a different with that. type of yeah. Laughing, he, he's yeah. out. Of, he's out of my range, like Eddie. Mer- I mean, like Richard Pryor. Like they yeah. like yeah. they was like too old for my taste. Richard yeah. Pryor was too old for me. I don't. Yeah. Remember, I remember him being at Brewster's Millions for crying yeah. out loud, and that wasn't very funny. Yeah. Um, but hell, I might only have three, man. That's all I okay. got. Okay. I'm tapping out. Okay. You want mine? Yeah, yeah we want yours. Well, I'm going favorite first, or I'm going whatever, on top. whichever one you want to do, my man. All right, top. The man share my name. He the king, he the goat. He made me really think I could do this shit. Dave Chappelle. Okay. Like, because, like, my style of comedy, if you listen to it, it's like, Dave it's Chappelle. left field. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My shit left field, and I'm going to bring you back this way, or I might just stay left with you if you're going to mm-hmm. keep riding the ride. If you listen to me, as, as if you ever heard my stuff. Uh, Bernie Mac is a fool. I really respect Kevin Hart. I respect his grind, and I respect the fact that he is a fucking very funny guy that people stop giving credit for. Yeah, and I think it's disgusting that people be like, "You're this high." Like they want him to go higher, but he been as high he as been he's that high. Get. That's what it is. His specials are so dope. Let's dog. talk about that real, just one second no, because he, people he, say he's he not funny. He's not funny. You dumb as shit. Let me tell you, he suffers from that syndrome when you get to that top. Yeah. Right, now it's time to watch you fall down. Yeah. That's what everybody. That's has. it. That's, like, that's, and there's nowhere else to everybody, go. Everybody, everybody pushed Kevin Hart all the way up but, there. But now no, they want him to come down. It's like why? Nobody yeah. ever put out as many specials as he did. Not even. He's fucking funny. He's, He's funny. Hilarious. Remember yeah. he was talking about the last one before the last one when you were talking about the raccoon. Like the raccoon grab his dick. Yeah, yeah. With, yeah, with the lights. Oh, he had all the lights going. All the lights going on in the in the yard. Yeah. Come on, bro. That's Kevin. Funny. One thing I respect about Kevin, he got that. Sh- he got the science part of that shit down. Yeah. Packed. He now, got I'm his not, boys I'm... with him. They all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... He, he the Drake of comedy. I think so. Yeah. That's, that's a great. Good. That's, that's a, a great one. That's He's a like great. the Drake of comedy. Yeah. That's a yeah. He got a team that writes for him, and that's they they all it, it, they don't write for him. They sit. They all sit. Yeah. That's I say. They all sit. So he ain't like no rap shit. It's just we tagging the yeah. shit up like we yeah. used to do. Yeah. yeah. We just tag the shit up. But that's what you're supposed to do. To keep, that's yeah, what, man. That's what yeah. keep you fresh, bro. And yeah. he's and he's so prolific. I mean, he always has something going. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. All right. Calm. Y'all calm down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, uh. I said Dave, Bernie, and Kevin. D- Dave, Kevin. Bernie, Kevin. Um, D Rub. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. You my favorite. Damon Wayans. Ooh, mm, okay. See, y'all motherfuckers okay. don't know funny. Y'all motherfuckers that be I running y'all mouth. Damon, Damon was funny. 
Yeah. And I'm gonna give it to Ken Miller. Give that bitch showed that bitch showed me how to do comedy. Yeah. I Ken, watched Ken that mother of him. And and he's so underrated. And the reason why a lot of people in America might not never know who Ken Miller is is because he sacrificed his life for first his kids and everything going here in Orlando. Second, for every comic that has done anything in com- in comedy in Orlando, he sacrificed that to make us better comics. And nobody ever gave their people their flowers while they're here. And I'm not putting any of these comics in any particular order. I'm just saying these are right. my yeah. top five. I had to name my dog Ken because like, it was time I get out of hand drinking. He'll call me up like, I heard you were funny as fuck last night. Fuck, boy. <laughs> I heard you got drunk. And it's like. For you to take that time to do that for me is like you give a fuck. You you see something in me as far as being a professional comedian. Sure. Now my favorite. D Rub. <laughs> I'm probably your favorite uh, rapper. Yeah, I listen to your rap. I don't really listen to a lot of rap. I listen to your shit. D Rug, uh, Desmond, um, Tim Allen, Preacher Loss, and Justin Loss. No particular order. Those they, are they brothers? Yeah, the preacher yeah, and Preacher Justin and Justin brothers. Oh yeah, yeah okay. Me and you know, Preacher, heard of them yet. you know Preacher was the guy who won America's top talent. I mean, as far oh, as yeah? my favorite, I'm saying well, he, my he, he favorite. He was runners up. He he he, he was runners up. Okay. He lost to that little girl. Yeah, he lost to the little girl. Was he funny? Should it, should oh, yeah, he have won? And he a clean comic. And he clean comic. He get the he got the. He was just at Side Brothers, man. He was just at Side Brothers all weekend. Got, hey, he, listen. He got to lick Tyra Banks' face, bro. <laughs> Pre- Preacher Lawson. Like, Pre- come Preacher on, bro. Lawson, like, when yeah. it comes to Orlando. Comedy, How many bro? motherfuckers you know can say that? That's I got shit. to lick Tyra Banks' face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, something, man. You know what I mean? Hey, like, hey, if y'all listen to this right now, Google Preacher Lawson here and listen to his special. It's on, um, I think it's on BT. Uh, Preacher, Plus. like a pastor? Or yeah, you Preacher saying Preacher Lawson. Lawson. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, hey, he, from, he from the old. They from the old. Hey, yeah. well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's my partner. But me and Justin Lawson, we was in the trenches together when we both ain't had no car and we were going to Mike's every night. He'll call me, hey, bro, you got a ride? Not yet. We're going to get one, though. <laughs> and then, and then gotta happen. I call him, like, hey, you got a ride? He like, not yet, but we're going to get one, though. You're right. So, like, I understand the grind. Like, bro, like, the thing about any art form is the difference in, the difference in being successful is are you going to grind for it or are you waiting yeah. for somebody to give you something? Right. I don't get mad. I be seeing comedians on Facebook and stuff like, hey, man, you ain't going to support me. And I just, man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Give them For something real. to support, bro. Yeah. 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 Your whole, your whole, your whole fuck. I, I be wanting to tell them your whole set is trash. Right. See, my I, thing with the uh, comedy shit, the reason why I don't grind like them, because I did that shit with the rap shit. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I don't feel like doing it again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and the difference is he know that like if a bitch booked me, he coming. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. So like, you know what I'm saying? Eat. Exactly. So we gonna eat. You got to book both of us. Right. You got to book, book all of us. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, like, if, if, if it come down to that, like, a bitch be like, hey, man, look, I need a show. I'm like, okay, well, you got to get him 250 and I need 250 yeah. Right. That's how it is. Like, he'll call me like, hey, man. They only and that's the cool shit them. about it. Motherfuckers know what time it is now. Like, you know what I'm saying? We done grind so much. That a bitch know they can't even talk to me no more without a check. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, you, you charge the bitch at the door. You yeah, gotta pay me. Exactly. If it's a free show, I might slide. Give me a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, for real. Like I might yeah. slide through. I mean, but that come with repetition as far as like this whole comedic game. Don't they try to book getting... me and you getting money for the fucking show. What about a shot of what about a shot of Hennessy? I don't even drink Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. I drink whiskey. And Hennessy is overrated. Nah, that shit is evil, bro. That at one time I had I almost fucked this old lady that had like <laughs> cerebral palsy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> What? Where'd you find her? At a like comedy his... show. <laughs> <laughs> this had Sarah posing. She was. I don't, I don't even know if we're saying that right. I don't even know you're saying that. Right. But it's just Sarah Paul. Sarah Paul. Sounds good enough. Serial Paul. Sarah Paul. Sarah Paul. It's cerebral. This bitch had Sarah Paul. Hey, how close did you come to fucking her? When I seen that bitch start walking. <laughs> I thought she was just hanging out in the chair all night looking sis. She had to throw that other leg up like that dead leg. <laughs> she put that dead leg up like this. I'm like, God damn, she thick as hell. <laughs> and I walked by, that bitch kept smelling like urine. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, hell no, you little dead leg bitch. <laughs> you gonna get me your little dead leg ass. I know what's going on. I fucked a deaf girl before. A deaf girl? <laughs> 
You know they sound and you fucking like wow. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get us kicked on Spotify, man. <laughs> 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 when you really jam them, they get louder, like, ha! <laughs> like, bitch, shut up! Ha! 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 What's your, Ham bone, bitch, I'm a vegan. What's, what's, your, <laughs> what's your moment where you had to stop? Or just nut it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. You know some, gotta, we know. men, men, men got fucked up brains when we like when it, when sex is in the play. Yeah. Once we fucking, we don't see shit. I mean, that nut. Pretty, when you bust a nut, then you start thinking about everything. Hold yeah, on. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, I, I might need to go get checked. I ain't wearing rubber. <laughs> <laughs> This shit like, wrong. Goddamn. Bitch, put your panties on. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this bitch smell like goddamn uh, fucking the fresh farmer's market. In this <laughs> Can't believe I fucked this bitch with this fresh farmer's market pussy. <laughs> you don't care when you're trying to get it, though. Right. When you're trying to get it, you like, fuck it. Hey, you think that when studs fuck, you think they get they got them uh, dildo checked out? <laughs> <laughs> they strap on? They, they test that bitch or they keep hitting the same holes with the same strap on? Do studs put a rub, rub on their strap on? Yeah. I, would, I would hope not. They keep it clean? No, I would hope so. Really? Yeah. You yeah, can't slap some rubbers. Huh? Can, they got to yeah, put rubbers, rubbers on, man. Studs with strap on? Well, you know what? They That's why all the Magnums off they, the shelf. Think, think, <laughs> ain't that many Magnum niggas walk around. <laughs> we, we know damn sure you're not the reason. <laughs> no, the question, the question I want to know is, do studs buy the little dicks? Yeah, that's a do good they question. Like, do they buy like, because the dicks they be buying, ain't, 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 they, they ain't Them bitches ain't average. Yeah, there's some bitches. <laughs> They go buy they, them dicks, them studs be buying normal guy. That's not no normal shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. And they cheating. They cheating because if I get a girl that's bisexual and she come across that stud first and then she come to me second, now she gonna like the stud more because she got the get, well, the, no, the no, 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 no. Because even though they strap them on, that bitch, you can't work it like when you hit that hit, hold that swirl, bitch. <laughs> that swirl, fuck them up. There can't no stud swirl. A, no profes- a professional stud? One that's the, uh, got experience. Years Let me of experience. tell you something. I tell them like this. You can't throw up in her like I could. Okay. Hey, my dog, Ch- <laughs> hey, my dog Chopper say, nope, we buy a new one for every new woman. <laughs> oh, they wasting money. That's <laughs> expensive. You got you to gotta reuse, baby. No, she she yeah. rich. Shout out my dog Chopper. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. If you got money, you can do it like that. We're in the fam, you together. She bought me my O-ring. For my joint, I, I wonder they put they Listen, they that's going to be they the last time you mention fam you on this show, man. We a Bethune Cookman show. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, it's, 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 no, man. it's not my fault that your parents didn't love you. <laughs> that ain't first, got nothing to do with me. I let the first five times slide. Man. I mean, no, you in the Bethune. That's not, that's not a good decision. <laughs> no, you in the Bethune Cookman College. <laughs> oh, no. Edward Waters before that. <laughs> yeah. went you went to Daytona Beach Community College. That? Yeah, man. You so you made two bands. <laughs> when you could have just went to fam, you and went to the greatest school that you ever would have went to in your life, man. Rattler Nation, baby. I think I think that's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My dog say, fam, you live. Uh, and to end the show, uh, I will say I just got a notification. Anthony Simons of Edgewater High School just did win the dunk contest. Oh, yeah. NBA dunk contest. Oh, nice. They won it. Okay, Orlando. Uh, okay, Simons. Orlando. Way to go. Way to yeah, go. man. So that's a W for, for us, man. That's okay, the then, the Orlando. He beat Zion Williamson? No, Zion said he wasn't going to do it. Last minute, oh, he pulled out yeah, the contest, man. man. I don't know. what's Why these young boys don't do that shit no more? Yeah. It ain't really no... Purpose in it. Yeah, yes, it is. It still it's is. It's a big man. fucking purpose. It's a some platform. Guy, it's a platform. What, but, but what it's become is is that that guy who's not quite a star. Yeah, yet, and they blow up. That's his yeah, thing. that's it why blows I, you up. I don't like. But that if shit. you if you at Zion's level, if you you know, yeah, if you're already I'm there, not gonna get you that. They don't do it. That's the thing. I they think Kobe was, Kobe was like the last big guy to do something like that. Yeah, you're right. Like Kobe was like the last big guy to do that. I mean, but you got to think about it. Like that's like sometimes people. Ask nah. me to do a show. As if a fan, right, I'm not gonna as do a it. fan of '90s basketball, we need to have like nobody it's, cares. I you're think a it's, fan, though. It's, it's fucking. <laughs> they no, don't just, care. You're a fan. No, 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 They don't care. It's it's fucking absurd that our uh, LeBron James never was in the dunk contest. Why? He's about to retire soon. Yeah, but why? Why would he? Because you just want you want to see what he would do in that set. Yes, like and you want to see. He doesn't everybody care. does. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's a business. Did, everything though. is a business. Yeah. When we get to the point and whatever it is you do professionally, you look at it as a business. We become more successful. 
when we look at it as from a point of caring what the uh, or like you gotta always care what the fans in my book family if you fuck with me we family i never had a fan in my life you my family but when you look at from that standpoint it's another level you know what i'm saying like, i don't do competition comedy yeah because a lot of the times if i go to a spot and it's this here unless i need the money I needed the money one time I went to Daytona and a, a dude stacked the whole audience. He had his whole family there. I still won the shit. Because <laughs> I'm way funnier than him. Right, right, right. No disrespect to him, but I needed the money, so I, I got another mind frame. Right. Now, just a different comedy competition. I'm not going to do it. For what? Yeah. You're going to come out here with 50 cousins. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid on my point. And yeah, to bring yeah. it back, if they say, you know, a million, two million, these guys are already making millions. So I don't know what what yeah, they have why to do. Am I, doing it? I, I don't right. know what they have to do to get these guys in there, but I, I don't think they'll ever come up with something. So. Nah, I think it's just a platform for the younger guys. Yeah, yeah it's definitely That's, what it is. That's, That's it. exactly That's what it is. is. Yeah, yeah. And because the newest, the newest stars I discovered now. I discovered a lot of guys in the last ten years from dunk contests. Yeah. But like was... I didn't know who the fuck they was until they was in like you know what I mean? That's true. Like Zach Zach, Zach, Zach Yeah. Like I didn't know who the fuck yeah, Zach Levine yeah. was until the dunk contest. He like, right, you right, mean? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Aaron Gordon, man. Aaron Gordon too. Yeah. I didn't know who the fuck Aaron Gordon was yeah. until the dunk contest. <laughs> but yeah. you, you from got the hometown a... team we don't I know. I know I knew before this I knew he did the dunk contest before he got to Orlando. Arizona, right? Then he got to Arizona. That's what I say he he did the dunk contest before he came to Orlando. But you got to think, no, no, that was when he came. He got drafted by Orlando, motherfucker. He did? Yeah. yeah. Jolly is a real deal Magic fan, yeah. man. I didn't know I that until I started talking man, to him. Man, them niggas are soccer players now. The difference is, is like. I'm a Magic fan, too, but them, 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 them soccer players. They got soccer players. Player. Bamba and yeah. Fournier. Yeah. And, I don't know uh, who the fuck them <laughs> damn soccer players. And... <laughs> everything about a bag now, though. Everything. They don't give a fuck. I, I just got paid $40 million to play this year, and we got out in the first round, and we didn't make the playoffs. They don't care. It's more. Like back when we grew up, it was more like Michael Jordan was like, "Oh, Dominique Wilkins getting in this shit." Let me go. Let's do it. Yeah, right, it was yeah, more yeah. pride in your craft. Right, right. There's no more pride in crafts Hello? anymore. Yeah, now I hear that. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> well, listen, we uh, that's gonna be it for this week on the bench with Bubba and Pink. Uh, catch us on, like I say, Spotify, YouTube, all of that good stuff, man. I'm actually gonna play. My favorite song from D-Rug on the way out, Paint My Eyes Red. Oh, okay. Got some D-Rug in there. <laughs> Got go. some D-Rug love in here, man. It is on all streaming platforms. Yes, it D-Rug, is. D-Rug, Paint My Eyes Red. Hey, never forget. Shout out to Phil for real on the beat, man. Yes, and I'm still 220, homeboy. <laughs> Has all that <laughs> life in my face. I'm nah, shout better. out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. Welcome to the family, man. I love it. You know, it's old rap or no rap, baby. That's old right. Rapper, that's right. Rap. Shout out to Ann One. Old rap or no rap, little nigga. Rap. <laughs> shout out to my nigga Ann One. Old rap or no rap, nigga. And y'all know what it is. Fuck your baby mama. Because I did. Liquor kill you. But tell me one nigga you know. I got off a reefer. Wake up in the morning, know a nigga got smoke. Before I go to bed, roll it up and just smoke. Stuff it in the car, light it up and then smoke. I roll it in the paper like them white boys. Smoke. So the good shit don't matter, I just smoke. When a nigga choke, boy, you know what's good. Smoke. I'm paying my eyes red, nigga, you know what? Smoke. I'm paying my eyes red, nigga.